It's here! Time to make my new custom Venom! Alright, let's get started. Whenever you buy something online, you always wash it. Scrub-a-dub-dub! Alright, time to find the perfect hands. What do we got? Oh, these might work. Let's shake them up into some Venom hands. Perfect, just what we need. Alright, now we need a head. Let's 3D print that 500 years later. Finally, it's here! I never thought it'd come. Turn out pretty nice. Let's get it finished. Now we're gonna paint the head. And when we're done painting the head, we're gonna go ahead and paint the body. Okay, the idea here is we're gonna do some blue shell shading. Kind of a wash at the same time, but you'll see what I'm talking about. Looking good in the neighborhood. Alright, now that we have that done, we can look at our classic retro Venom. Look at that classic retro head. Wait a minute. That doesn't quite look like a retro Venom head. Let's get the right one on there so we can have things straightened out. Alright. Here we go. Now we have the right Venom head. Looking good. Oh, what's that? It's a Batman head. Oh, brother, I suppose you're right. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the actual correct head for Venom. No messing around this time. The Red Hood head for Venom. Right? No? This doesn't work for you? Okay, fair enough. Well, at least you were honest and you gave it a try. I got to appreciate the F for that. All right, now we're getting the Venomized Spider-Man head for Venom, which I think looks absolutely fantastic. Now, the thing about this is when I 3D print a head like this, it takes a lot of sanding and finishing. By finishing, I mean putting an extra layer on there to smooth it out. But anyways, I was able to fabricate it so it popped on and off like you just saw very easily and so you can swap heads between the actual Venomized head and the Spider-Man Venomized head. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison um, to regular Spider-Man and as you can see he's a little taller, not too much, with the larger build. So if you wanted this to be your Venomized Spider-Man, I think it would work perfectly. Alright, now let's do some other comparisons. Let's see, who do we got next? Alright, now we got Buff Spider-Man. This is Spider-Man I made out of Sabretooth from the AOA wave. And, uh, yeah, there's no get around it. He makes, uh, he makes Venom look like a little guy. That's, I, I'm sorry. I just had to say it. I, I just, I had to say it, guys. I apologize. Alright, now, what are we gonna do next? I'm thinking maybe, oh, you guys are gonna like this one. Batman. Here we go. Batman and... Venomized Spider-Man. Oh. I would have thought it would have been closer in size. But that Batman is darn near 8 inches when you go up to his ears. So, having having that be said, not too surprising. Alright, let's do a Storm Collectibles. Now, this is around an 8, 8.5 eight inch figure. He goes right up to the shoulders. But, uh, Akuma, quite the opponent. I, I would truly love to see that battle, though. I think it would be fantastic. Alright, so let's go ahead and compare him to someone a little smaller. This is a regular 6-inch Marvel Legends Spider-Man that I customized. Hope you guys enjoy it. Um, but you can see he actually is a 7-inch action figure. Alright, so now let's go ahead and put the head back on that is the Venom head that we originally had on this figure. Alright, let's pop that bad boy back on. Here we go. See? Pops back on really easy. Well, you guys are absolutely amazing, fantastic, wonderful, outstanding, and beautiful. Take care.